away. We've been hearing a lot about global warming and climate change over the past few decades. But the question is, you know, how big of a deal is it actually? And how big of a deal is man-made climate change? I've heard some arguments from people who have posted like comments and things to some of my videos or to my community section this morning saying that climate change was a hoax. And that is technically not correct. There is climate change. That is a proven fact. The climate changes naturally. The climate has been changing since our existence of the Earth. It's a natural process. It changes. We have four seasons. But to hear the pundits, the experts, and the climate scientists, which I'm none of those, tell us what's happening, they would have us to believe that the whole world is just one big ball of fire and it's heating up very quickly and everyone's going to be just burnt down and melted onto the ground in a big puddle of human melted flesh or something because it's so hot. And, you know, I've been doing a little bit of research and according to NASA's surface temperature analysis, they found that the global average temperature has increased by about 1.4 degrees since 1880. That is almost 150 years and the temperature has increased according to NASA. NASA's surface temperature analysis found that the global average temperature has increased by about, about 1.4 degrees since 1880. And that is almost 150 years we supposedly increased average temperature by 1.4 degrees. So it's definitely not heating up very quickly, if at that. You know how they will manipulate data, do things like, you know, take the temperature up here and not get the results they want, then they will take it down low. They will take it to different surfaces, at different points, to try to get the result that they want to skew those statistics, you know, line with statistics. And like I said, I'm not a climate scientist. You know, we could be melting away, but right now, I mean... I don't see it. It looks fine here to me. What about where you're at? It looks average to me. And you know what we've been, we've been hearing about? The temperatures in Death Valley, California. And I did some research. This is the highest temperature on record belongs to California's Death Valley, which in 1913 reached a temperature of 134 degrees Fahrenheit. So, since 1880, the average global temperature, according to NASA, has risen 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit since 1880, which is almost 150 years. The highest temperature ever recorded was in California's Death Valley, and that was in, two, that was in uh, 1913, and it was 134 degrees Fahrenheit. So, what's really going on? And, you know, like I said, I'm not a climate scientist, I'm not an expert about this. However, you know, we can all see what's going on. They're talking about climate lockdowns. They're talking about cutting food production, cutting nitrogen, blocking out the sun. All kinds of things they're talking about. You know, John Kerry was talking, I heard on a video, I forgot where he was at now at the moment. Someone let me know in the comments below where he was at. But he was saying that we need to, because of climate change, there was going to be a drop in food production. So we need to drop food production to combat climate change. Because producing food produces too much carbon, too much nitrogen. And both are essential to life here on Earth. Carbon and nitrogen, both, if they were gone, we'd all be dead. So, you know, the things they say don't make any sense. And if you look at all the climate predictions that they've made, over the years. Look at Al Gore, for example. You know, I think it was like 30, 40 years ago, he was saying we're going to be dead in 10 years. They've been saying 10 years for decades now. It was global cooling, I think, and now it's global warming, and then it just changes to climate change. And the climate, like I said, changes all the time. But it's, in my opinion, it's an excuse to put in this global social credit score system based on your carbon credits because they want full total control. They want to use this just like they used the COVID. They manufacture a disaster. They manufacture an emergency even when it's 
you don't see anything happening. They manufacture that, they push the science, they keep pushing it out into the media, and people start believing what they see. The next thing you know, people are screaming and, oh, we've got to save the planet because everything's heating up and we're just burning down to the ground and melting. And people will actually be brainwashed enough, they will demand that these leaders at the global scale put in more control over the people, put in the social credit score system based on your carbon footprint. Destroy the population, destroy food supply. And, you know, you know it's been proven that they've been not really controlling, but manipulating the weather for decades. If you look back at the Vietnam War, they had an operation. It was called uh, Operation uh, Mongoose, I think it was. I think it was Mongoose. There's so many going through my head right now, different operations they've had over the years. But I think it's Operation Mongoose in Vietnam. And it was in 70... I'm pulling this out of my brain, trying to, guys. I think it was in their 1970s, during the Vietnam War, at the end of the Vietnam War, that they caused the rainy season to be extended for another month and it just rained and poured and rained and poured and it flooded out you know the bridges and made it difficult for the Viet Cong to transport supplies and things that was the whole go so that's on record they were manipulating the weather even way back then you can imagine how advanced that they are now they can make some areas have drought some areas have rain and floods and things like that and they're going to blame this all on climate change, global warming, man-made climate change. Man-made climate change versus, you know, natural climate change that actually happens is a way to control man's actions. If it's man-made climate change, then they can use the argument that they, that they need to put in regulations. They need to take control. They need to have this social credit score system based on your carbon output to control people because of man-made climate change. Climate lockdowns, smart cities. If you look at all their agenda, they're basing this around this man-made climate change agenda because it offers them full control. And by the time people figure it out, they'll have that full control and they'll have this population reduction they've been craving. It is extraordinary that people believe everything they hear and not what they see. They did no research on their own to see what the average temperature what temperatures were for those past 150 years and what it is now. And you know, 1.4 degrees, I think it was. Yes, 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit in 150 years, according to NASA. You know, 1.4 degrees, I mean, that is a, could be statistical error. It could be less than that, actually. It could be maybe a little more than that. It could be, you know, whatever. But no doubt, it's not more than that because they want that to be as high as possible. They want to scare the population, want to scare the people. And you have to look to find these things because they're usually hidden. But 1.4 degrees over 150 years, is it just, oh, the temperature's going to just melt us down and we're going to go into the ground into a big pile of melted flesh and mush because it's so hot. 1.4 degrees in almost 150 years. It's 1880. And like I said, you know, they manipulate numbers. They measure different ways, different heights and things. No doubt to get, you know, the result that they want. Still, all they could come up with was 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And we've been hearing about Death Valley. Oh, the hottest temperatures ever recorded in Death Valley. 1913 was the hottest temperature ever recorded. And that was 134 degrees Fahrenheit. So you see, so you see how they manipulate the numbers, and they use the media just like they did with the COVID pandemic to keep reporting, reporting, reporting. Oh, it's the hottest summer in history, the hottest month, the hottest day in history, the hottest year in history, over and over and over again. And they will show summer. People out in summer clothes. People trying to keep cool, and they're in the media. Say, oh God, it's a heat wave. It's the hottest it's ever been in history. And all people have to do is just look it up and see what the temperatures were ten years ago, what they were last year, what they are today. Right now, you know it's cloudy, and they're predicting heavy, heavy rains tomorrow. And you know I can't tell any difference in this year 
the temperature than I could 10 years ago. It's pretty much the same. We are in August. We'll have the upper 80s, lower 90s usually. I remember, I think it was 2012 here, we had a heat wave here, and it was uh, around 105 for so many consecutive days. I forget how many days it was, but it was 105 degrees consecutively for you know a couple of weeks, and that is hot here. But you know it does that. It's the temperatures change. Temperatures aren't fixed. We have four seasons here. We have spring. We have summer. We have fall. We have winter, and then it repeats itself. And Global climate change, like I said, has been happening and has happened and will continue to happen. But they're trying to say it's man-made climate change. We've got to control man's actions. We've got to control the population. We've got to control every single thing because the global temperature, according to NASA, has risen 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit in 150 years. We've got to block out the sun. We've got the man carbon we got to lower carbon we got to get zero carbon emissions we have to ban nitrogen we have to eliminate farming we have to stay in the house stay locked in we have to do this and that because oh man it's hot it's 96 degrees outside we're all going to melt away but like i said in my opinion i'm not a climate scientist i'm not a scientist at all i'm just a guy with some common sense with a computer who can do a little bit of research who can actually look out and see what's going on talk to other people and figure things out and in my opinion the whole thing is to control the world they want to depopulate the world they want to control the world and their excuse is going to be they want to control food energy and control everything and their excuse is going to be man-made climate change which in 150 years according to nasa has risen 1.4 degrees fahrenheit but anyway you know they're talking about i've heard talk that we're going to be under the ocean because it's so hot all the ice caps are just melting away and it's causing the ocean to rise up and then Barack Hussein Obama and his wife or husband Michelle or Michael or you want to have you want to say it whatever you think I don't know I've not looked I don't want to <laughs> but anyway they go by it was a multi-million dollar mansion in Martha's Vineyard and from my recollection, Martha's Vineyard is right at sea level. So he's going around talking about we're going to be under the sea. But yet he goes and buys, you know, a multi-million dollar mansion in Martha's Vineyard that is at sea level. And if he's correct in what he said and what he said and what the climate alarmists have been saying for decades now, it's going to be underwater. Florida's going to be underwater. A lot of the country is going to be completely underwater. We're going to be just burning up hot. We're going to be big masses of blobs of burnt down flesh onto the ground. <laughs> because of 1.4 degrees temperature rise, Fahrenheit, over the last 150 years, according to NASA. Maybe. It could be less. Who knows? Let them manipulate numbers and things to get the results that they want. But anyway, I've been rambling on this video here, talking about this. This is something I haven't talked about in a while. And, you know, some people will say, well, who cares? It's a big deal. Because they're going to use this to cut food production. They're already doing this. They're going to blame climate change on extreme weather events that probably they cause through geoengineering. Uh, they want to cut, you know, nitrogen, carbon, which is food production. They said they want to cut farming. They want to lower the population. They want to get off all fossil fuels and go solar, which to make all the solar panels and batteries is worse on the environment than using diesel, coal, gasoline, and things like that. You know, fossil fuels. Research. Any little bit of research that anyone does into this, it's getting a bit more difficult to find because they're trying to block everything out. They don't want you to find the actual data. But if you dig enough, you can find the actual data that shows, you know, it's pretty much, in my opinion, a ploy to control the world to bring in this globalist agenda. And the same thing we're seeing now with the aliens, the spacecraft, the interdimensional travel. It's all about control. It's a plan. They're putting that plan in place, piece by piece, because they have to have a disaster they have to have 
and in emergency because during emergencies during disasters they come in even if it's a fake one if it's a psyop make everyone to believe it's an actual emergency they come in they offered us a solution and the solution is to give them more power more wealth more control if you look at what happened after 9-11 we all know what 9-11 was or at least most of us should by now but you look at what happened the Patriot Act NDAA and we still have people right now that still imprisoned Americans without a trial because of what happened in 9-11 after you know the Patriot Act and the NDAA that authorized detention of anyone permanent detention without a trial Americans without a trial if they say you are a, a terrorist they can just come and arrest you put you in prison no trial and that's what's happened to the people that are still running away in a little cell after January 6th they take power they take power they always take power emergency sometimes they will cause the emergency or disaster Sometimes it will be caused by them, sometimes it won't be, sometimes it will be a psyop and not even an emergency or a disaster whatsoever just on the media, you know, defund the media. They keep, they keep pushing this out. This agenda, people believe it and they're like, oh God, we're going to all die because they get so horrified. You know, they can look around and see, hmm, the flu, maybe, but they don't look, people don't. They fall for all the propaganda. And, like I said, it doesn't have to be real. It can be. It can be caused by them. It can be caused by something else. It can be a natural event. It can be just a completely made-up event. They will use it regardless to gain power, to gain control, to put in laws, and to get the people and governments to follow along and back those. And people are so stupid, by the time they figure it out, it's too late. You're already been stacked and whacked. Anyway, let's take in the comments below. If you liked the video, have any thoughts, leave those in the comments. Give the video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. The quick more matter, and I'll see you all in the next video, hopefully.